This tutorial is going to go over some of the basic weather and visual option functions of UC WinRoad. To start with, make sure that your environment movement button is checked. It's the cloud with the raindrops going on. And then go to your visual settings button, which looks at the little paintbrush painting the road. And inside of here, you're going to see it opens up to the display tab, which has a bunch of different things that you can turn on and off in the 3D view. For instance, models you can turn on and off, or trees or the roads or things of that nature. You can make the, the model wireframe. But the thing that you can do also is turn on weather. So if I click this weather button, you can see that it immediately is just starting to rain because I already have this weather button checked in the 3D view. Now if I go to the weather tab, I can control the parameters of this. I can change the heaviness of the rain. I could change the flake size to be thin or heavy. I also can make this snow or rain. And I can change, if I activate wind, you'll notice that the particles blow in whichever direction the wind is going in. Now that I have a snowy scene, we want to do a few things also. Number one, if it's snowing or raining, it's probably not going to be sunny, so you can shut off the sun and the sun flare. So that's the sun, there's the sun flare is helpful on a sunny day but not on a rainy or snowy day. Second thing you want to do is change the, the sky texture. So there's two ways to do that. You can either go to the sky tab and actually change the texture to say something that looks cloudy or you can leave it as sunny and, and turn fog on. And If you turn fog on it covers the sky up and you're also able to control the density of the fog. You can make it really foggy or not very foggy depending on how you want it. Another good option to make the scene wet and more realistic is to turn on water reflections on the road surface. So when we check that checkbox you can see that it's putting these road reflections here and the cars will actually re reflect off of those. So when I come back out to the 3D view and I hit play on the traffic now you can see that as the cars drive and move around that there's a reflection of each car in the, the wet road surface. And another thing, another cool option is, so say I'm gonna go in this car, I just clicked on the car to get into it, is to turn on windshield rainwater. So now I have windshield rainwater on. You can see that the windshield wipers clear out the, the water. I'm gonna get out of this vehicle. Fly back over to here. And the rainwater is different for snow and for rain. So if I, I'm going to get into another car, I forgot to show that, so I'm going to go to the, the windshield rainwater thing. You can turn the wiper on and off and just see the, what it's doing to the windshield. And if, it was, if this was rain instead of snow, you can see it kind of makes it fuzzy, almost like it's hard to see through. That's just another cool visual option that you have. Now I'm going to get out of this car as well. I'm going to go back to the visual options. I'm going to turn off weather, turn off fog, turn off the road surface and the windshield rainwater, and then turn back on sun and sun flare. So now when you're looking at the sun, you can see it has that cool sun flare effect. And you can also change, if you go to the sun and moon tab, you can use the current date and time so you can set whatever date you want it to be or you can have it change with time so now that I have it change with time as I'm changing the time here you can see that I'm changing where the Sun is located and then if I get if I get all the way past to dusk and then to nighttime then the moon comes up So if you're having a night scene, you could turn on moon and stars in the display, which I believe are already on. Yeah, so you have little stars and, and a cool moon effect. And also, when, you, when you're at, at nighttime, the, head, the traffic lights glow brighter and the headlights all turn on and off. And if you turn on bloom, then you could see that the bloom, what the bloom does is makes 
sort of a glow effect, which makes a more much more realistic lighting effect to the headlights and the the traffic signals. I'm going to turn, go back to this, and turn this back to daytime. And one, one last thing I wanted to show is the fire and smoke feature. So, I have actually smoke coming out of a chimney already and a building over here. And you can see if I turn off the environment movement, the smoke stops. And also, it's affected by the wind. So if I go back to the, to the weather tab, and I turn wind off, then that smoke's going to be going straight up in the air. So the way that smoke works, it's just like placing a regular, ordinary model into the software. So if you go to the Add Details button, click the Add Details, move this over to Fires, then you can see that wherever I click on, this, on the ground, it's going to create, now it created a smoke because smoke was checked in a smoke texture. If I turn this to Fire, and turn it to a fire texture, or a different fire texture, So these are just the default fire and smoke that you have. Now once they're in the scene, they're also movable like any model. So you can click on them and then control click to drag them, shift control click to rotate, alt click to go move them up and down. And if you click on it and go to the fire tab, you have some basic settings in here that you can change. But if you go to the advanced options tab, you can change a lot of the other things associated with it, such as you could change the shape of it, you can make it taller and wider, and the number of particles, to make it really small or very big, and you could change the color, you can change it more red, less red, if I change this to zero, and it's going to change my fire to a nice green. So you have all sorts of different options for velocity and particle size and shape of these of this particle generation fire and smoke inside the software. And then you can use this to make things like simulate accidents or put smoke in chimneys and things of that nature.